Over the past decade, we've stayed in hundreds of unique rental properties around the globe. So we've partnered with Airbnb to create a series called Meet Your Host. Their platform has seen tremendous success for hosts of unique stays. We'll be visiting these unique properties around the world and hearing from the people who brought them to life. I'm Kristen Sarah, and today I'm in Montezuma, Costa Rica, and just down this dirt path is one of the most magical places I've ever seen in all of my travels. It's Katrine's place. It's called Green Moon Lodge, and it is truly an artist's masterpiece. Katrine is an artist, and she really put her, her soul and her creation into this project, and I cannot wait to see it. Nice to meet you. Welcome, nice to meet you too. I am so excited to be standing in front of this amazing creation. This has got to be not if the coolest, but definitely one of the coolest places I've ever seen. Thanks so much. That's for yeah. sure. I, I just wanted to build something. I've always been fascinated by round buildings. I always enjoyed it. I don't know, it's just so very different to just the straight rectangular walls and everything. So yeah, I really wanted to build something different, something where I can also bring in some art. And then I found out about aircrete and it's a really great material. It's like a mix of concrete and basically detergent foam. And you mix it all together, you make your own blocks and it's very light made lightweight material but you can form it the way you need it so it was just perfect for this a friend of mine he's an architect um, he was super curious about it as well so he educated himself on how to build something like that and we got started so this was the first time for both of you to yes, make something for this. for everybody in the team it was a very hands-on project i was at the construction a lot as well and in total we had to make 1200 blocks um, to get all of this together. <laughs> I need to know more about the actual design, like how you came up with this, as well as the colors. Well, the, the base of it was the dome. And um, the idea was first to just build one dome and basically try to have everything in there. Uh, but then I realized that if I want to separate spaces inside that one dome, uh, then again, I have to build some walls or so. So that's why I said I want three domes and I'm going to connect them through the arches. And that's also where my architect helped out a lot to, um, to see how we're going to do this best. And so that's why one dome is the center, the biggest one, um, which is this here. And that's the living room and the kitchen. And then we have one on the side, which is the bathroom. And on the other side is the living room, uh, the, the bedroom, sorry. <laughs> How long did this take to create from the beginning? So from the design all the way to the last day of building? Yeah, from the really the moment we, we started construction to finish everything ready to rent it out, it was six months only. And then there was like, there were two months or so before that, which were kind of planning phase and designing and thinking things through. But yeah, it, it went really fast and well, and I was really happy that it went so quick. <laughs> I am really excited to go inside and see, just show everyone around. So let's just go. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to show through you. Through this amazing door, by the way. I need, first we need to talk about this door. The, the design is based on a painting that I made about three, four years ago, because I was a paint. Um, and yeah, it's this woman with the wild green hair and it's kind of like a jungle lady and flowers and leaves and um, yeah, I kind of wanted that at the entrance as the entrance door. So I made like a basic version of it, just black and white, uh, made it on paper. And then I have a friend of mine, he's an artist and he's working with iron and yeah, he's making gates and um, and he made this for me which still amazes me how he managed to get like from a sheet of paper that was that big and basically just a sketch how he managed to make this amazing iron door out of it are you are you happy with how i'm i'm super happy yeah it's beautiful yeah it's he like did such a great job and he also um the all the windows inside the round windows yeah. Um, it's also his work and yeah, it's, it's really great what he did. I really love in the morning um, how, or whenever the sun is peering through, like you can see the patterns on the ground Do yeah, you from the yeah. window and the door. Sometimes even at night when the moonlight is shining, when you have full moon and you see the moonlight and you have the patterns inside, it's really nice. Yeah. It's amazing. It okay. adds a lot obviously to the building. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I am excited to go inside. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, please. <laughs> this is just like 
I feel like I'm in another world. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's like a fairy tale to me. And I also kind of feel like I'm underground. Yeah, How does that feel? A little bit because it's the round structure and you feel like you're a little bit in a cave. And also it's you, most of the time it's really nice and cool in here. So I guess that adds to that feeling as well. Yeah, the first thing that attracted me as soon as I walked in is the artwork. Yes. Specifically in the bedroom, but even on the doors and on the shower. And I'd love to learn more about that. Yeah. This is uh, one of my favorite pieces of artwork here. This is um, a friend of mine, Manuel, made it. Um, he's a local artist and yeah, I think I gave him like a rough idea of what I wanted and he um, he came up with that within not even two days and yeah, I, I just love the whole um, the feeling it gives the bedroom and the whole dome house really in general and then the rest of the artwork is um, so for the window frames and the door I made the designs and then a friend of mine he, he made the metal work and, and the rest is um, stencils like on the ground and also in the bathroom. Basically everything is mine except for the, for the couple kissing above the bed and, and also this, this was part of that as well, but then the rest is mine. Yeah. When guests walk in here, what's the first thing they say or the, the first look they have on their face? Um, most people, I think, they're just looking up first to, to take in the whole, um, yeah, how, how the room feels. And yeah, definitely the, the artwork above the bedroom is one of the things most people are very impressed with. And then also the, the main entrance gate, the door. Does this place attract certain people? I guess more, yeah, creative people as well. Um, I have a lot of couples, but also single people who just want to take a time out and, and some quiet and sometimes there they use the place to create something. I had musicians here who really liked the acoustics, like if you're in the center of the dome you have very interesting acoustics and the, the sound travels um, around you. Um, yeah, so I guess, yeah, a little bit creative artist people, but, but in general really um, it's a wide range of people I've, I've had. I like to go into the bathroom yes. too because everywhere here has its own like little special place. So. so this room, as you probably noticed, most of the house is green mm -hmm. um, inside and outside, but the, the bathroom I wanted to make it more in blue colors, um, yeah, related to water and everything. And also the rest of the, the other two domes, they have the really big windows, but here I have the little ones, so also that you have a little bit more privacy inside, um, but still have good ventilation. Yeah, also the windows, I put like elements of water and flow. Well, actually the first time I came to Costa Rica, I came directly to Montezuma and it was to teach English and to volunteer. And yeah, I don't know, I, I just arrived here in Montezuma and I've really traveled a lot. Um, but um, yeah, this place, it just felt so special to me from the f first day I got here. And yeah, after a little while I bought property here. And yeah, then I still lived back home in Austria and then actually moved to France for a little bit and I worked there for some years. And, and then at some point the moment arrived where I'm like, okay, I need to go to Costa Rica, I need to do something with my land. And, yeah, I built my house and then after a little bit then this dome house. Well, I guess becoming an Airbnb host, um, it, it has really opened up a little bit my... Um, well, it's, it's a little town that I live in here, so it's very nice to always be welcoming people from all parts of the world. And I have a lot of people from the United States, but really I've had people from everywhere. And so it, it's, it's very nice for me to be able to, to welcome guests from everywhere and also to share um, my love for Montezuma and for this place with them. And um, yeah, it's, it's really great for me every time I have guests here as well. Financially, it really helps me to have like, um, it's, it's my main income and it, it helps me to be able to work on other projects that I really love. Um, for example, I'm, I'm making natural soap um, from coconut oil and with essential oils and I'm selling them at the local markets and some of the hotels around here use them. Um, and I have them in little shops, so that's something I really enjoy doing. And um, yeah, I'm also more and more, um, I have more time for painting, which is something I did only like a little bit before I moved to Costa Rica, but since I got here, 
I have more time and I guess also more inspiration because yeah if you work an office job or so it doesn't really it's not very inspiring sometimes and and here I feel like there is so much inspiration from all parts and I've been painting a lot and I think it's really great to be able to do that and to have more um, to have that possibility to focus on that as well. This building with everything finishing, like really with the furniture and the kitchen equipped and all of it cost me around $40,000. So it's, it's not like super cheap, but it's also still affordable. Um, and yeah, if, I think it's great to be able to create a very unique space with that amount of money. I guess I chose Airbnb because it's uh, first the one I'm most familiar with because I've traveled a lot and I've also used Airbnb and um, most of the time it's really a great experience and you get to see really incredible places. And also I like the way the platform is set up. It's like that they process the payment easily. I don't have to collect the payment when people get here and the payouts are easy made and, and then also kind of the the safety you get on both sides. You have the reviews um, and um, I can also rate the guests, which is important, I think. Monkeys are passing by almost every day, both the howler monkeys, but also the white-faced monkeys. The howler monkeys, most of the time you hear them in the morning. They're always around like around 5.30 5 or so when the sun rises and yeah, they're loud, <laughs> but I, it's just one of the things I love about living here that you get woken up by wildlife. That's something very special. And, and then I guess that combined with the beautiful nature that you have, the rivers, the waterfalls, and obviously beaches wherever you look. Um, so that's, that's a great combination for me. I love rike, hiking in the rivers, for example, and just exploring and finding waterfalls. <laughs> There is actually one Austrian artist that I really love. His name is Hundertwasser, and he built some. In, he's an, like a painter, but he also worked as an architect, and he built some incredible structures in Austria and surrounding countries where you don't have any. Not even the floor is straight. Everything is curvy. Like there is a church that bends a little bit like this. There are spas that he built where everything is just flowy and wavy. And he also uses like a lot of intense colors. So that for sure that, that inspired me as well. Montezuma is like a little beach surf town, but it's, it's very hippie and there are a lot of artisanos living here. And for me, it's very special that um, it, it kind of draws people also who are, who are very creative, who are very inspiring. So it's just, it's, it's a very welcoming atmosphere. So even if you travel by yourself and you, you go to town, you're gonna meet somebody and you're gonna chat with some people. And a lot of people, they come and um, they don't wanna leave again. <laughs> because, <Thank you>. yeah. <laughs> much for for sharing your magical place with us and yeah. i'm really excited that i get to spend a couple of nights here yeah i'm excited for you to stay here yeah i hope you're gonna enjoy it i think we will yeah yeah thank you so much thanks for coming yeah thank you <laughs> this unique airbnb has given katrine the money as well as the time to focus on her art as well as other creative projects and what artists wouldn't want that mm -hmm.